What do you guys make of the refereeing decisions? The, not the decisions, the appointments. A joke. Really? I was Wayne Barnes, an assistant referee for the Wales South Africa semi final, when Jerome Garces is the referee. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, 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 no. Garces has done all right this World Cup, though, isn't he? Are you joking? <laughs> no, listen, you, you, people have come at me. I'll put it on Twitter and people have come at me. Of course, they did. They're saving him for the World Cup final because England won't be there. They're not saving him. World Rugby have come out and said, we consider these two to be the best referees at the, pro- at the current moment. Wayne Barnes is the best referee in the world. Fact. Not fat. Fact. How does how did you um, view the Yako Piper decision not to even have him in the, in the reckoning after the uh, photo incident? When I saw the photo come out, my initial reaction was that <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing and I get what people are saying. You like, you know, refs can't have a laugh and stuff like that. But there was, by honest thing, when I saw it, it was like, oh God, a bit too soon, potentially. Or is it an old photo? It wasn't. It was taken after the game. I don't know how many um, settlers Yako Piper had. Unfortunately for him and us and a lot of other people who are believers, um, you can't do that stuff now. You know, as unoffensive as I found it and as funny as I found it, in this day and age, trial by social media, say what you want. You just can't do anything these days. And unfortunately for him, was he due to be a ref in the, in no, the semi? That, I don't know. That, they haven't made the decision. And I actually think looking at it, I actually don't think he'd have got a semi-final as a referee mm. because... What's his name? Nigel Owens. Nigel, I couldn't remember his name. Then. Because Nigel Owens is probably one of... He's either the first or second best... Re- I think Wayne Barnes is the best referee in the world. I'd say no, Nigel Owens is number two. So Nigel Owens cannot referee Wales against Africa. You want your top referees... Mm. Um, Yako Piper semif- couldn't either, could he? No, Yako Piper couldn't. Yeah. So the only one he could referee was England, New Zealand. And Nigel Owens is ranked above him probably in World Rugby's refereeing rankings if there is such a thing. Al Garces has got the other one when Wayne Barnes is on. Third. Nick Berry's been an amazing yeah, he's referee, been I think, yeah, he has. in the World Cup. Um, you know, so I'd pick him ahead of Garces, but it's going on experience, it's going on all that stuff. And um, like I said, Garces, England, Australia had a hell of a game for England, uh, which you know <laughs> you don't really want to say. Um, so again, you just hope it comes back to the rugby that we're talking about and not refereeing decisions because. Yeah, with Jerome says anything can happen. I can't stop looking at the photo, though, of Yako Piper. He looks so happy. I've seen loads of different ones. He's got money in his hand that people have superimposed. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not the it wasn't the wisest thing to do. And he's probably just got... Some Welsh boys are probably just going to have a photo. They're going, oh, stick the elbow out. And he's just taking it slap like that. Didn't think anything mm. of it. It's been blown up into a massive thing. Um, the easy thing for World Rugby to do is just take him out of this weekend's games and say we're not under consideration. And then... You know, it's done and dusted and, you know, it's a red card. It's not even a question whether it's a red card or not. He's just made a, a, a slight error and hopefully, you know, they can drop it now that they're, they're not including him in the, the teams for this weekend's semi-finals.